surface area of rectangular prisms. So we learned in a previous video what prisms are and that they're three-dimensional figures that have two congruent bases that are parallel. And we also learned that they get their names from their bases. Today we're going to focus on rectangular prisms. So what exactly is surface area? Surface area is the sum of all the areas of all the shapes that cover the surface of the object. For example, if you were going to paint your house, it'd be a good idea to figure out what the um, surface area of the house is before you went and got the paint, just to make sure you had enough paint or that you didn't buy too much. So you would have to find the, the surface area of each side of the house, or at least estimate it. So if you were going to find the surface area of this cube, you would find the area of each face and add it all together. You would add up the six sides. So how do you find the surface area of a rectangular prism? I like to use this little mnemonic device. Tom Brady left right for Boston. Tom Brady left right for Boston. So when I'm finding the surface area of a rectangular prism, I like to start with the top and find the area of the top, then find the area of the bottom, the left side, the right side, the front, and then the back. All right, let's see how that would work. So here we have a rectangular prism, and I'm going to use Tom Brady left right for Boston. So let's start with the top. The area of the top would be um, length times width. So we have a length of 6 and a width of 3. So 6 times 3. So it would be 18 square feet for the top. And the bottom, of course, is congruent to the top. So it's going to be exactly the same, 6 times 3. If we look at the left, we would multiply the length and the width, or the length and the height, and that would be 3 times 2. So the left side is 6 square feet. The right side is going to be exactly the same, so it's also 6 square feet. Let's take a look at the front. So the front would be length times height, or length times width, and our height is actually 2. We would do 6 times 2. So the front would be 12 square feet, and then the back is going to be the same as the front. So it would also be 6 times 2 is 12. So to find the total surface area, we would add up all six of these. And that would be 72 square feet. All right, let's take a look at another example. Remember, Tom Brady, Tom Brady, left, right, for Boston. So we're going to do the top first. So the top would be 3 times 2. So that's 6 square centimeters. The bottom is going to be exactly the same because they're congruent. The left, the left side would be 2 and our height is 5. So 2 times 5 is 10. 10 square centimeters. And the right side is going to be exactly the same. And the front would be 3 times 5. So the front would be 3 times 5. And our back would be exactly the same. So if you add that all up, we'd have 30, 40, 50, 62 square centimeters. And there is actually a formula that you can use for calculating uh, surface area of a rectangular prism. And it's essentially what we've done here. You double the length and width, and that's what we did down here. Double the length and width. You double the length and height, and that's what we did here. We doubled uh, the length and the height, and you double the width and height. You double the, the width and the height. So that's all there is to it uh, in calculating the surface area of a rectangular prism.